Okay, here we are, um, gathered in Trafalgar Square, next to the 4th Plinth. Up there is a um, Cola Life supporter. Cola Life's a campaign, it's not an organisation yet, to get Coca-Cola to take containers in their crates, wedge-shaped containers that fit between the necks of the bottles. And those containers would contain medicine or, we call them social products, so it might be medicine but it might be things like water purification tablets, it might be mosquito nets, or whatever's required in a particular locality. Uh, why do we want this to happen? Well, because anyone who's travelled in Africa knows that wherever you go you can get a Coca-Cola, but at the same time, one in five die before five, four children die a minute in Africa through very, very simple causes. Things that we brush off in this country, like diarrhoea, children die from in Africa, for every minute. And that is a disgrace. It's been going on for as long as I've been alive, and we want that to change. And we think this just might uh, be a part of the solution moving forward. Um, I'm Russell Tanner. Uh, I work for the Commission for Rural Communities, but today I've been here on the plinth for Cola Life. What do you want to know about? Tell us a little bit about the Cola Life project and uh, what you're hoping to achieve today. Um, well, the big thing for me today is to try and um, get as many people as possible to support Cola Life by promoting the website address, the Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash cola life and also the twitter account at cola life so we can sign up as much support as possible to try and give Simon Berry the man behind the campaign leverage to speak to people like Coca-Cola so they'll open up their distribution networks uh, to deliver aid to developing countries.